Next up, we've got Shay's pick. Since March is Women's History Month, it's a good time to look at the Biden administration's support of women's issues. Just this week, President Biden put out an executive order establishing a White House Gender Policy Council to, quote, to ensure that every domestic and foreign policy rests on a foundation of dignity and equity for women. It sounds good, but Dr. Shea, what is really the position of the Biden administration? Well, uh, they keep saying that they want women's equality, but then their policies solidly contradict this. In fact, the very first thing that he did was put out an executive order on January 20th that allows biological men to go into women's safe spaces, such as locker rooms, bathrooms, and to compete on their sports teams, uh, which totally uh, makes Title IX null and void. The second thing is he, uh, Biden has said that he will ensure that the Equality Act passes. And the Equality Act enshrines into our civil rights law everything that I just mentioned um, by redefining the term sex. So instead of sex meaning biological male and female, it will now uh, mean multiple, it'll be a concept, I guess, to say, uh, of uh, multiple and fluid gender identities. So what this means is if a biological man says that he is a woman, he self-identifies as that. There are no legal standards, medical standards to assess this. If he self-identifies as a woman, he has the same access to public services <clears throat> and public funding that a woman does. This is the thing to me, it conflates women with the transgender ideology. So um, for, you know what it does? I think it, it just slaps decades of women's hard work on trying to become equal citizens, you know, treated as equal citizens under the law. It just slaps it in the face. I mean, Monday he made this announcement on the Gender Policy Council, right? Monday was International Women's Day. Um, and the co-chair of the council has already come out and said that they're going to focus also on transgender rights. So I just, um, I'm, I'm appalled. <laughs>